breaking the wall of pancreas e-health diagnostics. Qualified in the Greece lab, Theophilus Chrysikos, University of Patras, Greece. Thank you very much. Wow, how exciting. Let's begin with some poetry. Who would hear me if I cried out of the ranks of the angels? The first line of Rainer Maria Rilke's The Elegies of Duino. The agony of the artist to strive for immortality. The agony of mankind to strive for longevity. And longevity, in this case, has to pass through this weird black box, through this huge intersection, which is the pancreas. Now, that's a very critical and very grumpy organ for all of us. Inaccessibility, lack of transplant, pancreatitis, both acute and chronic, can be fatal. And also, the pancreas cancer, very difficult to predict, and when we do detect it, it's usually very late. It has metastasized and surgery. In the first place, very difficult to access the pancreas through surgery. It's very late for pancreatic cancer. Ultrasound and imaging techniques, impartial, biased, lots of flows there. And blood serum tests, yes, but they don't give access to what we need, a dynamic database, or as we call, a knowledge base. And we can build that. We can find the solution. We can make Rilke's dream for longevity true by establishing a wireless platform through implants. Implants in the pancreas that can provide dynamic real-time measurements, and they can create through an established RF link, which has been validated by measurements, extended measurements that we have conducted. You can see the first reference. We also have some more publications coming all the way, some journals coming up, and we are trying to establish a dynamic real-time monitoring of glucose and other critical parameters so we can establish a customized user profile, Atomic, which can be a knowledge base that can be accessed and utilized easily by an established medical personnel. Now, this doesn't have to be very high tech on the front end for the medical personnel, but the backbone is sophisticated, it's reliable, both links, the MICC that you see is the 402.5 MHz wireless channel, the ISM is the 2.4 GHz, both provide reliable measurements, each one with their own particular scenarios. The body sensors, 85% of global biosensors uh, uh, focus on glucose. The current technology is electrochemical and barometric. We can go from here to the future of nano by going through this process, this e-health diagnostics platform. We are trying to raise public awareness. We are launching a website, and as my dentist we always says, be strong and we'll get there. We have a question over here. Yes. How do you get the implant into the pancreas? The implant can be either by the surgical cut or by a probe through the classical stomach penetration. If we can work on that even further, we are trying to raise some funding and proceed through the stomach insertion and then go through the pancreas. Thank you very much. You're welcome.